So do you know when the when clients or candidates apply, they will automatically get an either email or sometimes calls, you know, to do a phone interview or face to face via Zoom, or hopefully we're going to be back to in person. And I always tell them, do your research about the company, do your research about even the re recruiter or the hiring manager to have some kind, kind of common entrance, an icebreaker. So why do you think that researching the company is important and how does that prepare the clients or the candidates to the interview? That's a great question. Um, I think that when you do at least a little bit of homework, it shows that you care, that you actually are interested. If you happen to be applying for a job where there's a lot of competition, how will you stand out? Mm -hmm. Well, it could be through some, some research where you uncover something that's a little different than what everybody else is talking about. So I would recommend going beyond company pages. You need to look at those company pages. When you go through the company pages, you're really kind of looking at the mission, the vision, yeah, and most the importantly, the values. Why do we care about the values? Not for the words themselves. What we want to understand is, or what are the behaviors that drive the engine of the organization? And when, if you get a chance to interview, then you can start listening for whether or not those people are all showing up living those values. Then you can kind of see if you have an, un an alignment or not, because it may not be a place that you want to work. So that's one thing. But you should be looking to see if they've been in the press. Have they done anything outstanding where they've just landed a big customer deal? Do, have they had great revenue gains or decreases? Do they have some issues, troubles? Have they lost a manufacturing facility for some reason? What's going on with the supply chain? Like find out what's happening in the larger operation so you can kind of tie it back to like how your role would apply to helping the greater good of the yeah. whole organization. Yeah. And you mentioned something earlier about alignment. So I always tell clients like know yourself before applying to a company so that there is an alignment between yourself and the company. But in terms of, let's say, percentage, does it have to be 100% aligned, 80%, mm -hmm. or it all depends on the client, on the company, on the candidates? You're talking about kind of that values alignment? Yes. Yeah. I don't think that all of your values, as it relates to making a career choice, I like to like make that specific with my clients, um, they don't all have to align because when we hold a value to be important to us, it isn't always necessary that you who I work with have that same exact value. It depends on the value. Here's yeah. an example. If in my top three, mm -hmm. something like trust, mutual trust or trust is important, yeah. that needs to be reciprocal. Yeah. It has to be because I can't, I can't trust you, but then you can't trust me and vice versa. That will not be a match. That's yeah. a value. Okay. Yeah. Um, but if it's really important to me that I make a difference in my work, that's one of my top three values, but you show up and you do your work well, but it doesn't matter if you're making a difference, like you don't care. I can live with that. I personally can live with that. Doesn't mean everyone else can. That's where I, I look at like that values alignment. See yeah. what the company says about their values and see if you like those values and that speaks to you yeah. and that you can operate and live your values out when you when you join. Yeah, those are great tips, Gina. I really appreciate that. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in next time for other great question with Gina.